Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fitzgerald Ranch. Got some uh, Christmas presents here to go over. One in particular. I've uh, been working on this Black & Decker Workmate 425 portable workbench. I like it so far. I haven't fully assembled it yet, but I think it'll be useful. But anyway, uh, I've been having a tough time figuring this out. And after watching uh, even a couple of videos on YouTube here, didn't really fully explain it until I saw a couple of other videos in particular that explained it pretty well. Um, really had to focus on the actual video footage they had. But when assembling this, you're going to probably, uh, if you read the comments on the other videos, everyone tells you to throw the instructions out. I don't find the instructions too terrible, but... What they don't explain is these first pieces here are going to go to this first piece here. This is adjustable and it's going to attach into this guy here. Problem is, if you use one of these pieces, it will not work because this protrusion here does not allow for this in here to align properly. So. If you use these blocks for the first piece here, there is no protrusion and the bolt comes right out through here and you can start assembling right away. So just wanted to point that out before I got started and uh, I'll try and make a little video tutorial on how to put it together. Um, but the majority of this was already put together for me. Usefulness of it so far. I have found is this handle of course if you have it you know that that pulls up like that and this whole thing folds up nice and small and maybe I can do that later but for now I will start putting it together I'll probably do this in a few separate videos and put them together because I'm using a cell phone still to record all these so once I get this first piece on I'll be back and try and show you as best I can stay tuned so in start of the assembly, you can kind of see in there, there's a little plug peg that goes in there on the ruler side of this piece of wood here. Okay. Then the bolt goes through a hole right there. It's already got a big spot for it. You can see the bolt stops naturally in the wood there because they kind of cut a washer into the wood for you. And it comes out with just enough room for you to be able to screw that down into this little threaded spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. So we're back here now with this. I, the handles I had to assemble also, but I put them on previously. This I just wanted to make sure everybody could see. Um, no, I did not put my handles on in the same direction. Sorry, just not the way I did it. Um, you pay, you'll all probably pay more, way more attention to that than I did. But it comes out to about here, and that's where I'm going to stop it for now. But as you can see, those plastic spacers right in there, and you don't want to bolt it down too tight because it will end up not sliding. Um, so that's how all that works. Yes, you can use both handles. Um, I probably will just to be safe with how I use this. But in the meantime, that is how you put that together. And that's why they tell you to do it hand tight so it's nice and loose. I am going to see if I can get it a little tighter than how it is now because I would like to have it somewhat tight. Yep, so I just did it a little bit tighter there, and it still spins. It's enough to get those bolts in there somewhat straight. And yeah, so that's how that slides back and forth. And like they all say, hand tight is very important. You really don't want to crank on this. It's all plastic. So then we have the next pieces over here, which I'll get. And that's the box that came in there. Got two more pieces of wood. Now, those handles, when they come with it, you have to put them on most likely with the assembly. Uh, what I found is, as everyone has found, there are two white pieces of plastic that you're gonna see. You just literally pop them off. I did it with my thumbs. And uh, just pop them off and good to go. So, now the next two blocks of wood are going to go on with these pieces here 
And what you do with them is this protrusion has wings on it. So you put that in here. Either way, we'll make it fit. But put it in here and it kind of slides right in. And that's all there is to it. You can see it's wider here than it is there. So let me go ahead and get that started and uh, try to return to the camera here. All right, so we're back here. So I just started, put the blocks of plastic in here, both sides with a bolt to get started. And what we'll do is we should be able to just slide this in, try and do it carefully so you can see how it just kind of fits in on both sides. I got lucky that that actually worked. And slide it forward. And that's what keeps it mounted. That is, as far as I know, part of the vise. So now I'll try to tighten this down without wrecking, wrecking where it sits. And what I'm really looking forward to with this is I, yes, I do have, as you can probably see in some of these videos, I kind of have a little workshop in the garage set up for now until our place is built. But been slowly accumulating tools and different things. And um, a lot of projects that I've been doing are not requiring me to be here in my little shop so i'm trying to make a little portable way for me to go ahead and do work so in the meantime i did not tighten that too tight and i really don't want to so we will see how this gets secured and seated um again not too tight but just enough to get it so it the bolt goes all the way to the bottom and it will stop. You'll feel it stop eventually. And when that happens, it's a good idea to just not force it. Because again, this is plastic. So I keep going and this one was just about tight anyway. Okay. And now for the last piece, which we'll try and do next. Okay. And I honestly haven't used this yet, obviously, as I'm first time assembling it together with you all, so I thought it'd be fun if I just kind of did it on a, a wing here on the go. Um, so just so you're aware, this is what it would look like where the bolt goes in with this hole cut out, but there's still a washer. Not a washer, but it's the wood, the way they cut the wood. Over here, it looks like possibly a little wood glue or something happened because it cracked. I'm not really sure. We're going to go through with it and see how it is. I mean, I'm sure if there was anything majorly wrong or that had to be changed with this, Black & Decker would honor it. I don't know their warranty, to be honest with you. I've never had... Sorry for that jump. I almost lost the board of wood here. I don't know about their warranty too well, but I'm sure they're pretty good about it. Uh, if you know different, let new people or first-time people watching this video, let them know in the comment section. All right, let me put the bolt in here and see if I can't just... Uh, do this with one hand so put that there that bolt's going to come up back through because i haven't screwed it in yet so i'll try and do that with one hand right now okay just trying to get them in there secure not tight by any means just enough to do this all with one hand so bear with me next one going to put this here and just use my other hand to Drop it in. Now I figured this might give me a little challenge because the hole is not clean, but that also just makes it a little more secure in my opinion when it when I have to force it through a little bit. Hopefully the wood isn't too damaged in there. Um, sorry to set the camera down on you like that. But. So I'm just trying to assemble this somewhat tight so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's see about putting this in here now and we'll go from there. I might have to set the camera down, so bear with me. Let's see if this works. Okay. Get that in there. That's flush. I'm happy I did it that way because I'm really trying to get that in and seated properly. Okay. Looks like I might have to redo this piece here. It's okay. I mean, this is supposed to be pretty secure, so if it's really tight and everything fits really well, 
I'm a okay with that, as I'm sure the rest of you are. So, all right. So, I mean, this is a mass production thing. Is the wood going to be perfectly cut and centered? It probably should be, but it's not, which I'll just deal with that. That's fine. I've had worse, so make sure it's going the right way. So, as you, I'm trying to do this the right way, but it's difficult. Okay, you saw those tabs earlier. They go in here. I don't know if you can see this too well at all, but there is a hole here, which I just passed you through right there. All right, so where that brick is sitting right there, that little hole is wider than the trail it slides into. So you just put those wings that you saw in the video earlier in there straight on and slide it forward. Just like pull it, slide it forward, just like that, okay? And that's pretty much all there is to it. That goes for both of these blocks of wood, okay? And there's a little one there. There's one on the end, which i be honest with you, I'm not sure what that is. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. So now I'm gonna finish up sliding this, or bolting this down. And this is the tool that it comes with to put it all together. It will fit right here, this guy. You can see it does work and it's hand tight. Um, I was using it earlier. I will probably, I don't know, either keep it or get rid of it, one or the other. I prefer to use a ratchet or a socket, whatever you want to call it here. It's just easier. I know how to not turn and crank on something too hard. When it gets hand tight, it'll be good to go. I'm not going to try too hard on it. So. It's getting pretty tight. We're going to let that go. I can feel the wood kind of setting itself. So we're going to let that go before it starts cracking or anything like that. Do the same thing over here. So I'll go back to another part of assembly that you didn't see in the video because I had done this the other day. And uh, I will show you what I mean by that in just a second. Okay. Maybe I'll speed this part up in the video so it's not as boring. So this here, you can see, I didn't push the pin all the way in. I just didn't feel like it. This here pin, you'll have to push this on, find the hole on both sides and tap it in with a hammer. I did not keep going all the way, um, just personal preference. But now that this all kind of sides together like this, it makes a nice little tight workbench. And uh, I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. I don't have a problem with it. Some people might, some people don't, I don't know. So now I'm gonna see how it works when I fold it out all the way here and pull this forward and lift up. Okay, so of course I have done something backwards and that's okay. Uh, we'll come back and see what I did wrong. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so you saw my little mishap there earlier. And uh, coming back to it, obviously portable doesn't mean put everything together, secure it, and you're done. Because this is kind of a thing of putting together a portable workbench, which, as you all might know, has parts and pieces that can be easily removed. All of these pieces, except for this guy here, which isn't fine, can be removed. So I put in the two holes that I said, I don't know what they were earlier, is for this to slide all the way back. And there are several of these to make adjustments to make this an adjustable portable workbench. Makes a lot of sense to me. I like it. Um, now, however, I can't close this this way. You have to remove that one board, pull this handle, and fold it up to lift this piece. Now, I, again, haven't done a product review on this, and I will once I get to use it more, but... For now, this is an assembly video. Um, the biggest thing was before with that peg. I wanted you all to know what to do with that. And um, I'm going to try and find the video again where I first discovered this, which made it a whole lot easier for me to assemble it the right way. I actually went out and, I mean, just my confidence in the way things are built or put together these days. Nothing against Black & Decker because I've, only owned a few of their tools. I'm just talking in general. Things have been 
coming in the mail that are either missing parts or got the wrong stuff put together. I get it. We're going through some tough times. But anyway, um, so this is all adjustable. It looks like a great workbench. Um, some people say it's a piece of junk. I'm going to disagree for now. So as I use it more, uh, we'll make a video on how to use it. But that is going to be the assembly video on how to put this together. And then to fold it up, I'm sure if you took it out of the package, you understand how it folds up. That white cap on the floor is one of the white caps you will remove when putting this together. Sorry, I'm just putting a socket away here. Um, okay, so that's it. That is how to assemble this thing. I hope it helps you. Uh, the other videos up there, the one in particular, certainly helped me. If I find it, I will try and put that in the description below just to share the uh, wealth and knowledge. But I thought I would personally make a video myself to explain how to do it because it was driving me nuts and I'm sure a few of you might be feeling the same way. Honestly, right now I'm just playing with it. You all know pretty straightforward how this is going to be used. So I'm just trying to see what it does and what it doesn't do. But anyway, that is the video. And again, I hope it helps. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And um, again, this is not a product review yet, but that will probably come in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. And if it's Gerald Ranch signing off with how to build the Black & Decker Workmate 425. Thanks for watching.